Hi, back again with a video. Uh, this one is a pantry update. So uh, firstly, I'd like to apologize for the fact that I didn't manage to get a video out last week. Uh, my to-do list was just so full on, I didn't get a chance to get one done. Uh, one of the things that I was doing was um, I completely emptied this pantry and rearranged it all. So it's looking a little bit different to what it looked like back in February when I made my first video um, on it. So I thought I would talk you through the changes that I've made and what I've actually done. So uh, yeah, it took about four and a half, five hours to sort all this lot out. It was complete chaos, um, but it got done. So uh, yeah, there's quite a number of changes that I've done. Um, I'll talk you through just some of the more basic ones. Uh, so basically that top shelf looks very different. Uh, that was full of my toilet rolls. And I found with a lot of uh, jiggling around that I could actually uh, get them down the side here. So uh, what was basically wasted space now has 16 packs of toilet rolls. Um, I've got three in there and I've got scope to get at least another three four um on top of it so uh, that freed up all that top shelf so really really pleased with that so it gave me a lot more space um on top of that i've been uh working away with my cardboard boxes uh easiest to probably show you the one at the bottom um so basically what i've been doing is just making these little boxes down here and it just allows me to stack to multiple heights on my cans. So before, it, with everything just like precariously balanced, if you went in to get something, um, bits got knocked off and it wasn't really working. And it meant that there was a lot of wasted space because of it. So with these boxes, um, I, it just takes all that away and I can store uh, lots more extra food on here which I'm really pleased about so we've got a few of those and I'll point those out as uh, we go down um, the lights um, I've got some basically some of these little uh, simple pug lights um, I bought these from little about 15 years ago uh, never sure what to do with them and I thought I would dig those out and put them on the unit so we've got five of those so I've put two on that shelf two on the one underneath and one down there so that got done um the biggest change probably is this so i managed to get this on amazon and it's a i believe it's a 24 pocket one and i got it for nine pounds so uh, that is hanging on the door and already full um, i was really pleased with this one actually because um uh these when you live in apartments like um this you 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 have fire doors basically and those fire doors can be quite thick and you try getting any of these hanging units and you can often find that they don't actually fit over the width of the door so i was really pleased when i got this one um it, it fit absolutely perfectly so um yeah really happy with that so that all got done uh the wire baskets that i bought in my pound stretcher shop that i showed you uh they've been put to use and since i've actually got them on the shelf i can actually fit probably up to about four on here so i'm looking to get a couple more of those so that got done as well uh what else did i get done yeah we've got a little step up here so we've got something to stand on to get to the top shelf um, a little whiteboard down there so that I can actually update um, as I'm moving cans in and out of the cupboard. Uh, so that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I pulled out everything that was due to go beyond its best before date uh, for 2022. So that has all been moved now to my kitchen cupboards. Um, that got done. Um, I'm sure there's some more stuff, but I can't think of it at the moment. Oh, yeah, the the cat basket that has been stored different ways. Um, uh, lots of lots of things um, been in there and removed and put back in and removed again. Um, so at the moment, that one is now storing um, just basically sacks of um, pasta and tea bags and porridge oats. So my flour has been taken out. Uh, rice has been taken out. And they've also 
the big tote that I had at the bottom there that had all the little bits and pieces in um, the rice for that got pulled out as well and those will all be going into either vacuum sealed bags or they'll be going into mylar bags so it freed up even more space so uh, so it probably <laughs> looks exactly the same as it it, it did to you guys uh, probably a few months ago but it is quite different so I'm I'm really pleased with what I, I got done as I was saying was complete chaos to getting it sorted but yeah well worth the effort so so that's what I was doing um so I thought I'd just while while you're here it's just uh, talk you through uh what I'm actually uh prepping at the, at the moment so we'd, we'll start with that so um okay so uh I will try and point but it makes the camera <laughs> wobble so much you end up feeling a little bit seasick so I will try and keep pointing to a minimum but I'll go from uh, top left to right um, I've got bottled water up there now managed to squeeze that on so I do store my water in canisters but if I get a chance to grab bottled water um, I will will get that as well I've got it dotted all over the place but there was a little gap up there so I decided to put some up there so uh, next row along is the oils so I've got those from front to back there um, including the little 100% um, pure coconut oil um, as well so that's all managed to fit on the top shelf uh, the big gap that I've got lots of room for now just need to fill it is my breakfast cereal so um, yeah you you all know I, I have issues trying to try to stay on top of basically breakfast cereal um, it's always a work in progress but but this is how far I've got so I've got basically generic branded cereals at the back there um, I have got some granola at the front and my pancake mixes as well. So, yeah, we've already covered what's in the cat basket. Um, the baskets at the front, I've decided to put just standard cup of soups in the first one. And the next one along here is just basically full of my rice and my instant mashed potato. So that's gone in there. I also want to bring across things like couscous and uh, meal sachets as well. So hopefully if I can get four along there, that's what's going in there. So at the moment, uh, this little gap here is just filled with this one, which is my... Uh, Sharwood's egg noodles um, so I've been picking them up on multi buys I've got quite a few of them we're down to one now so I really need to get some more of those so that is basically the top section um, these lights are probably not going to make things easier for you to see what's at the back but um, I will do my best uh, so um, because until I get boxes to hold everything upright at the back I can't double height the front uh, rows so these are still being kept singly so this little section here that's all my baked beans um, my 13 piece spaghetti loops hot dog sausages got up to two rows on those now I've got my two hot dog sausages and then baked beans and sausages along there. So uh, easy access to those ones. Um, the unit behind, which again, you're not going to see even with the lights that well. So you, you'll just have to take my word for it. We've got uh, creamed rice pudding um, that takes up that first section. Um, the missing gap there is my evaporated um milk um so that was all coming up to date so i had to take that entire section out um next one along is custard um from there this entire back section now is all just mixed fruits so that's tinned fruits it's um things like all the pie fillings like cherry filling uh rhubarb we've got pineapple slices back there uh lots of sorted fruits so that's basically fruit and dairy that stayed the same that's at the back but as i say now we've got the boxes i can start um stacking them and getting a little bit more in because i can actually store them in here now uh that was that row uh covered that bit uh the next one down is all my jars so i keep the jars towards the front and i've got meat meals towards the back so uh on this particular row, I've got um, my row of uh, ratatouille, um, my chicken meatballs, uh, barbecue meatballs there. Let's just take that one down so you can see the top shelf as well. Okay, um, so standard pasta sauces. We've got um, vegetable, chili, garlic, mushroom. 
I'm starting to get my pestos back in, so I've got a few of those. Um, then we've got some um, generic jars, so that's everything from um, the honey and mustard, curry ones, there's sausage casseroles, mac and cheeses, um, all the Thai curry sauces, all that type of thing, that's all been stored there. So I'm not 100% happy with that because I want to store more jars, um, just haven't got space to do it on this particular unit. But uh, um, yeah, so that's where we are with that one. Um, at the back there, we've got um, a row of stewed steak, followed by minced beef and onion, Irish stew, uh, chicken in white sauce, uh, chili con carne. Oops, it's not All right. There we go, chili con carne, um, chicken dal, chickpea dal there, um, also chicken tikka, chicken korma, which is the row underneath that you can't see, um, standard beef curry and chicken and vegetable um, curry as well. So that is all meat based meals um, and that takes up that back unit. So I'm yet to get boxes in that particular shelf but uh, I'm working on it so that got done uh, from there which is um, next shelf down uh, this one has got vegetables at the back and it has got just standard meats at the front so uh, um, at the front here we have got uh, tuna um, so getting the multi packs on those and also the tuna in some flour oil because uh, you get slightly better dates on it. Um, so been getting that one uh, pilchard in tomato sauce. Um, I think I mentioned before we're not really big oily fish eaters, but this one, it, it was a recipe growing up, just a really simple one. It was just some um, uh, puff pastry just kind of make it into to just roll roll it out into a, like a sandwich tin spread that on it put a puff pastry lid on and just put slits down it and it actually cooks up really really nicely so um, that's what we tend to do with that one uh, at, behind that there is the burgers in sauce um, so one's got onion gravy one's got normal gravy uh, we have pulled quite a few of those off again because they were their dates were this year um next one along is all my bacon grills so i'm trying to store the same type now because it just makes it easier to stack if everything's in the same shape tins but i have got like two different types this one and the standard morrison's one um from there is corned beef and a lone can of spam <laughs> uh next one along is all the just standard generic meats so we've got ham pork all that kind of thing um, that's that one and then the uh, tin chicken is now starting to build up a little bit so we've got that in a row there uh, this one's got my pates in and then all the fray bentos pies over there so there's quite a few of those were coming up to date so they got taken off so need to restock those quite a bit um, behind it which is saying even with the pug lights you're not really going to see so i will just point them out so we have a uh, sweet corn uh, which is that one over there then we've got the um, green beans followed by the mushy peas uh, followed by carrots, uh, followed by just mixed vegetables, which, all right, and we've got a few other things actually, if I can just pull it out. Yes, I uh, saw the easy onions, so that was something else I found in Morrison's that was a little bit different, so that one's gone in there. And the middle one over there is uh, sliced mushrooms. Uh, last little section over here. That's got the potatoes in there, uh, plum tomatoes, chopped tomatoes and things like red kidney beans. So that's all been stored there. And once we get all the boxes going, I should be able to fit in quite a bit more. That's that shelf. Down at the bottom, I'm saying this is just a speed through. <laughs> The, we've made space because uh, the tote that was there before um, had all the bits that's now in my door hanger. So I was able to remove that completely. So that means this entire section now is tin. So it's virtually made a whole shelf. Um, I was really appreciative of that, actually, because the soups, which I was storing on the top where my little baskets are, they kept getting knocked off. It wasn't really working very well. So uh, they are all being stored down in this bottom section now. Um, 
I have got two massive totes at the back that are full of pasta and rice so I've kept those in but I have got the option of pulling those out and then having another um, unit at the back there um, adding more tins to the back so that's an option for the future. Um, on top of those totes we have these which are basically just standard noodles so all different types in there um, we've got three of those they fit to the back and in this bottom section as the saying it's it's basically soups i mean i would love one of those kind of pantries where all of these are in um order as to what they actually are um but at the moment i can't i can only store to to four tins wide so they are actually being stored in date order as opposed to um flavor so um we have morrison's own ones and then the big soups which we're getting a bit of a taste for now so they they've gone down there and that last corner again you can just about make out um that's all jams preserves and sandwich spreads so peanut butter uh, chocolate hazelnut spread uh, marmalades jams i think i've got some honeys down there as well um got some of my little table salt around the corner and a few more tins um that i've just pulled off the shelf just to just to show you what was behind them so that is that i'm having to store the dates slightly differently um so with these now because i'm stacking from bottom to top as opposed to front to back um the dates are having to reflect that so uh, the the older dates are going down on the bottom newer dates towards the top so uh, so yeah so basically it is kind of working um it's uh, it's just trying to get as much stuff in and have it accessible um and yeah this system's been a little bit hit and miss um over the last year uh but it, it is starting to get there so um yeah i've learned a lot uh, this this cupboard has been pretty dizzy for a while the amount of times it's been pulled out and put back in but every time i do it and tweak it it gets a little bit better and and suits suits us as a family just that little bit better as well so so if you're like me and you haven't got either the materials or the DIY skills to have these fitted, these cupboards uh, fitted out with um, proper shelves and you, you're relying on a unit, I've, this is what basically um, I've been doing. So I, I don't know if that will be able to help you in any way at all as well as to how I've decided to organise it. So that's all of those. Um, from there, the last section is the door hanger so got another little trusty torch just hanging on the top there and these ones no particular order at the moment as i say and it was everything that came out of that bottom tote um so we've got sesame snaps in the top one um got my sun sweeteners in that one all different spices and seasonings my sage and onion stuffing uh, this one is just full of um, sauces, so we've got everything from um, Worcester sauce, soy sauce, uh, Chinese dipping sauce, that's all in there. Um, my cheese granules, just add water. Uh, gravy powders are in the next one, so this is um, chicken. Uh, we're missing a chicken and a, a beef one because I had to pull those out because we needed them, so uh, that needs refilling. Uh, this one's going to be the standard meals, just add water. Um, so that's tuna. Uh, these ones are milk based actually. This is the tuna and pasta baked ones. Uh, we've also got some uh, fish seasoning behind there. And from there is the couscous, which will go into one of those uh, wire baskets when, when we get them. So, But at the moment, they're being stored wild mushroom, tomato, and chili, uh, sun dried tomato, and garlic. Um, this one has just got peppercorns in it. Uh, down there is ketchup so uh, there's just a couple of ketchups in that one one in there one mayonnaise um, some golden syrup that I haven't got space for in my other tote and coffees so <laughs> these ones are the ones uh, yeah I'll go into that in just a second so I've got three coffees um, and just brought this one which is just a standard coffee wine and not tried it before but I'm looking into making my own little coffee mixes um and <laughs> as a doorstop there is my salt so uh, that's just a standard um uh, sea salt and 
Yeah, so um, what I was going to say is that the only annoying thing about this unit is it, this particular hanging um, option here is that every time you shut the door, these these coffee coffee jars at the bottom are banging into the door, which um, I think at the moment I don't mind. It's not pressing any buttons, but um, I may in the future, if it's, if it starts to get a bit annoying, is maybe just tack this whole thing to the door or just kind of like um, just, just find some way of uh, fixing it so there's not so much crashing and banging around when we open the door. So... Uh, so okay so that is just a speed through um version of of what's going on in here as i'm saying um i'm a tweaker i can't help but be a tweaker and i dare say at some point this will get retweaked again um but given the way that i can store these tins um i think this is about as good as it's gonna get for a while so um, yeah, a lot of stuff has been pulled out. Um, we did take, I've managed to fill up um, an entire cupboard of tins. So those ones will need replacing. So that, that's going to get done as well. Need to replace those. And apart from that, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, uh, so yeah, a lot more food in here. It probably doesn't look as full, but there is much more food in here than there was back in February. So um getting there so I, I will leave it leave it there for now um i just wanted to say uh yeah thank you for watching and sending lots of love to you and hoping you're all okay all right thank you bye